I'm going to model this metal bench in Fusion 360. Make sure you start a new project and then um, call it, say, metal bench, something appropriate, maybe the year level you're in. Um, once you're in there, we're going to firstly save the component. So um, we'll call this metal bench again. I'm going to show you a process that you can model everything in one um, component. So all our parts are going to be under here. First thing I'm going to do is go um, new component. So I've right clicked on here, new component. I'm going to call this end. So um, end frame. Now I'm going to go about drawing this end frame. So from the end, it's I'm going to start with a sketch and then I'm going to start with a rectangle. Start at the origin by clicking once, pull out, um, and we're going to label this up. So 400, which is going to be the overall depth, and we're going to go 500, which is going to be the overall height. From that point, we're going to draw up what it looks like in the middle. So this time you don't need to put a um, dimension on. We're going to use the dimension tool, which can be selected by pressing D. Um, and I'm going to click between the two lines. We're going to use 30 by 30 mild steel, square solid hollow section. So um, we're going to label these between each line at 30. I'm going to do a crossbar here and press D again. And I can miss the line there. I can do that in there at 30, so between the two lines. And that's still blue because we need a dimension of how high this is. So I'm going to do 100 up from the bottom edge. So you can see we've got our frame there. I'm going to do a couple of details in here. So using the line tool, I'm going to click on each corner. That shows our mitres. And that essentially is the size of our, um, our end frame. Now this is where it gets a little bit different than usual if you've used Fusion before. So we're going to extrude each of these parts as new components. So I'm in this kind of uh, end frame where I've drawn it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is click extrude and I'm going to go to um, new component in this operation drop down. Unfortunately you have to click that each time we do this but I'm going to start here. Let's start by a leg and I'm going to type in 30 and it's definitely new component. Click OK and you can see now if I extend this I've got um, the first component here. I'm going to uh, look at for my sketch folder and make that visible by clicking the eye so that stays open here and we're going to click the extrude button again. I'm going to click the top frame, new component, make that 30 and we're going to go again, click this one, maybe click 30 first and then go new component, not new body, new component, that's important. And we're going to go again, 30, um, new component, and OK. Now we've got all those components together, and that's our end frame. Super easy. Um, we're going to select all the pieces. So I held shift down and click the top and the bottom. Right click, and we're going to go um, rigid group here. So that holds everything together. So if I go and move that component later, or that whole end frame, it will move together. I'm going to hide the sketch that I did before and then let's put some fillets on these. So this is where it gets a little bit more time consuming it doing it this way. Remember you can actually select through your object too. That's just the long ones. We don't want to do any of the ends here. So it takes a little while to select them all. Got 16 edges there. Um, I'm going to do a 3mm fillet on each end and that kind of looks similar to what we are trying to achieve. Um, there are a few more things you could do. You could shell that component out too. So if I look down like this, um, I could shell each of these so it looks like um, still. Um, what I could do is just hide a few features like this so I can uh, click that. Um, I'm going to go 1.6 millimeters, 1.6 and enter. So you can see that shelled out that component and um, I'll do the same to this one, shell, click the end, um, 1.6, I'm just thinking it's probably solid on the other end still, so if I look at the other end it's solid, so 
um, if I control Z a couple of times and get rid of all those shells that we just did, we might need to do it one component at a time. So um, we will go shell, and I think we can do both ends to this shell. So if I've done both ends and then do 1.6, um, you can see it shells each side. Um, so I just have to hide and show each component while I did that. I'm not going to do that for each one for the sake of what we're doing here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, and just kind of condense all these up together. And I'm going to go right click, copy. And I'm going to come up to my main component up here, click on it once and go right click, paste new. So the paste new is going to um, create a second set of frames. I'm going to pull this one out like that. It doesn't matter where it goes at this stage. So I can select that component there. Now these should pull apart. I know they hold together, that's good. So the rigid group is, is held, held in there too. The last thing we need to do to get this thing together is we're going to um, create the pieces that go across here. So um, up to the top again, right click, go new component. So um, new component. This one's going to be called the um, call it the connector. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better name for that. We might change it later. And we're going to draw on this surface here. Um, no, we're not. Let's just go capture position. Um, and we are going to draw the 30 by 30, just kind of on from the origin. So 30, tab 30, enter. We're going to go finish sketch. We're going to go extrude. Um, this one's going to be 540 long. Enter. We can do our fillets. So that was a 3 mil fillet on each end. And then we can do the shell, which was on both ends. And it was 1.6. So that's our um, connector. We will need to have. Um, we will need to have three of them because we're going to put one at the bottom and two at the top. So I've, I've right clicked and gone copy there up to the metal bench, right click paste. Let's do it just a paste this time. That gives it like a direct copy and OK. And then I'm going to do the same right click and paste again. And that will be our bottom bar. So um, we'll need two at the top and one at the bottom. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to assemble these components together.